Yukon Nation made the trip out west, has been cheering on the team there in Portland, but one of the loudest spots is right here in Connecticut in stores. Of, of course, it should right? be, right? NBC <laughs> Connecticut's Matt Austin is there with reaction from students so far. Matt? <laughs> Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, this is just so nerve-wracking. The students here hoping that UConn can hold on to that course very closely and then join the men in the final four. Of course, lots of cheers, but of course, no matter what happens, they are just celebrating the women, especially for having gone this far. Excitement at Ted's Bar and Stores as students cheered and watched the UConn women's basketball team facing off against number one seed, USC. I mean, I'm really excited for them. I have so much confidence in them with how hard they fought this year through all of their injuries. They're gonna keep fighting. Well, I want the double championship and I'm not letting anything get in uh, my head. You know, good vibes sent to them. This is the Huskies' 28th trip to the Elite Eight and students praising team members, including Paige Beckers. I think she's just so amazing. She's really talented and it's inspiring to see a woman take on that much confidence and kind of like dominate a sports that I feel like isn't as much in the news, especially on the women's side. I mean, like our stars have always been there. They're killing it, but like our freshmen have really stepped it up. Like KK and Ashlyn have been like amazing to watch. Many hoping after tonight, the women would be on their way to their 23rd Final Four. No matter what happens, UConn's run in the tournament is creating excitement on campus. It's cool coming to a school where um, they've got like a big sport. Um, the school I was at before was a little small, so campus is just buzzing about the games, um, and it feels really united. It's really cool to be part of a school that actually cares about their sports and is doing really well. It's really cool to experience all of the excitement. <laughs> Back out here live. Uh, check out the score right now. We got about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. And UConn up by four right now. So they are just so anxious that UConn can pull this off again, joining the men in the final four, the women's final four on Friday. And you know this place will be packed again if they are able to pull it off. We're live tonight in stores. Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Guys, back to you. We